Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk to you about something, and it's about a satanic message that's going around YouTube about how you got to leave the churches. Um, as I told you guys before, that churches, you know, the worldly, the churches out in the world, I don't trust most of them, but there are a few churches that are good that are not uh, bad, and Besides, regarding church, period, you can still go to church in your house, a home church for worship. You can go to church even even in a school. I'm just giving, what the point I'm trying to make is, okay, as long as you are fellowshipping in the Lord, for one, and, and with your brothers and sisters in Christ, or even in your prayer closet, you are going to some form of church service, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? I just wanted to clarify that. I didn't want to deviate from the topic that I want to talk about today, but, um, and just before I get a little further in this, um, like I said, as long, as long as, you know, church is, getting together for worship. Man's definition is that church is a building. But in the Bible, church is not only a building, it is also the human, you know, the human body, uh the the bride of the the body of Christ, the righteous Christians, not the the lukewarm or the backsliders, you know, the goats. Okay? So Going back to what I'm telling you, there's there's a satanic message going out around you to telling you to leave the church. The Lord Jesus Christ did not tell you to do that. Don't listen to these goats that are telling you to leave the church. Okay? What the Lord is telling you is you want to find a church that teaches doctrine right out of the word of God, that talks about hell and heaven, that talks about sin, and calls out sin and corrects one in error. Okay? But these most of these churches don't do that. Only very few do. Very few, a small number. So if you're part of that 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 rare church that does that, that preaches about the true gospel of God, obeys God's laws in the, in the Old and New Testament, uh talks about the word of God as it is in the word of God, it doesn't add to or take away, talks about heaven and hell, talks about sin, uh, does not believe in that devil's doctrine, once saved, always saved doctrine. Um, believes in true repentance, meaning correct, uh, confessing your sins, repenting of it, going through correction so they can be washed, so the sin can be washed away by the blood of the Lamb. And also, a church that corrects one in error, like the Word of God says to do, you know, judge righteously. If you are part of a church like that, which is a rarity nowadays, don't leave it, okay? Don't leave it. Don't do what these satanic prophets tell you to do about leaving the church. You stay in a church. If it's the church that is pleasing to God, and I'm based on the criteria I gave you, a church that is pleasing to God, that is righteous in God's eyes, you stay with that church. Don't leave. Now, let's test this latest satanic message that says you should leave the church. Is that what Christ wants you to do? You know, a, a righteous church? Let's test the Bible. Let's test the scripture, shall we? Hebrews, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye, as, I'm sorry, as ye see the day approaching. This is talking about, as you see the day of the coming of the Lord approaching, as brothers and sisters in Christ, we have to edify one another, okay? We have to help one another. We have to congregate together in worship, okay? Teach each other sound doctrine from the Word of God and praise the Lord together. Assemble ourselves together. That's what a church is, to meet for a place of worship. It could be in your house. It could be anywhere. So like I told you, the church is not just the body of Christ. It could be a building structure too, okay? For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Matthew 18, 20. So that goes with the scripture that says, 
two testimonies to three, two to three testimonies establishes that testimony. You know, testing the spirits. It's not just testing the spirits and judging righteously, but if you have two or three people that testify of something positive about God, God is in the midst with them, especially if that testimony is established by aligning with the word of God and, and led by the Holy Spirit. And of course, if you prayed on it, if you have and in, in another aspect, if you have two to three people that get together, worship and praise God righteously, God's in the midst of them. That's a holy, righteous church. Okay. Um, so God, as you look at these scriptures, God's encouraging you to congregate with one another to worship. In, in praise of the Most High God, Jesus Christ. But exhort one another daily, whilst, it's called, whilst while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. So in other words, God is encouraging you to attend your righteous church, to exhort one another daily, correct one another so you stay righteous in the Most High God's eyes, to worship and praise God, to continue to live for God, so you don't give it to deceit and sin. Okay? That The scriptures are telling you, encouraging you to stay in your righteous church. So if you have a devil telling you to leave the church, that's Satan using them to tell you to get out of your righteous church, so that way you can give in to sin and deceit. Hebrews 13, 17. Obey them that give the rule over you and submit yourselves for the watch for your souls. For they watch for your souls. I'm sorry. The Lord's talking about righteous shepherds that he appointed to feed his flock. Not these pastors and ministers that are fraudulent. They're just after your money. And the scriptures goes on to say, as they must give account. So that's saying that God appointed pastors and ministers to feed the flock. And if they don't fulfill that request... And feed the flock and keep them on the path. God's going to hold them accountable. He's going he's gonna to hold them accountable for the blood of those souls will be on their hands. As they, as they that must give account that they may do it, do it with joy and not with grief. Serve the Lord with your heart and your soul. Not that you feel obligated, feel happy and content and rejoice in Jesus Christ. For that is unprofitable for you. So if you serve the Lord as pastors and ministers of the gospel. Okay. And rejoicing, and you're content about it, and you're so on fire for God, a zeal for God, your congregation will notice that, and your congregation will carry that influence. In other words, the Holy Spirit will shine through you onto them. So the scriptures is not telling you to leave the church, okay? In these last days, you got to stay close to Jesus Christ, and you got to help one another. Like it says in 2 Thessalonians about comforting each other with the words that God's going to come like a thief in night. You'll be, you'll be changed in the twinkling of an eye. You've got to comfort each other and you've got to encourage each other in these last days. The devil is sending out his false prophets telling you not to meet and worship and not to go to a righteous church. That church could be in your house or it could be you. The church means the body of Christ, a righteous soul, or a place of worship that is righteous in Jesus Christ's eyes. So if you are part of that rare righteous church, don't leave it. You stay there. And you continue to worship and praise God. Don't do what the devil wants telling you to get out of the churches. Don't do that. God is not a liar. God is not going to tell you to leave a righteous church. You have to sacrifice yourself every day for God. You cannot give into the wiles of the devil. Romans 12.1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that ye present your bodies at a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service. Servitude to God. Matthew 16, 18, and I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Church, do you see that? And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. A righteous church. Not just a righteous person who's the right to who's a church. The church, the church is not just a building structure, it's a human being. Not just a righteous person. 
human being meaning righteous, not a goat. The church is a righteous person and also a righteous place of worship. So God encouraged Peter to, to um, start a ministry, a church, where him and his, P Peter, the, the shepherd that God appointed, okay, one of the shepherds he appointed, and the flock can meet for worship. And then that church will be strong and united under the rock, um, I'm sorry, strong and united on the rock, the rock which is God. That hell cannot prevail against it. That means that that church will be so righteous and so led by the Holy Spirit, not even a devil can touch that. Because the reason why the devil will not be able to touch that is because the, the pastor or the, 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 the shepherd and his congregation would be filled with the Holy Spirit. And also because the pastor would be filling or the shepherd would be filling and feeding the flock with true doctrine, the true word of God, so they don't fall off the path. And then that, that flock will know truth and sound doctrine. They'll have the knowledge that they need. And they'll be, they be led by the Holy Spirit. And because they're led by the Holy Spirit and filled with the Holy Spirit, they will not fall off the path and give into sin. Meaning into sin which represents hell. Because hell is sin. Satan has its own counterfeit body. Which is dead. Jesus Christ has the true body of Christ. Satan has the counterfeit body. I told you Satan counterfeits everything God does. So God's encouraging you to stay in a righteous church. He's not telling you to leave. The righteous church is the house of the Lord where judgment starts. Psalms 27, 4, that I have have I desired the Lord that I that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord as the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. His temple, the church. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are fortunate enough. And praise be to God for that. To be part of a church that is righteous in God's eyes. Do not leave it. God is not telling you to leave the church. The only churches God wants you to leave is the dishonest ones. The ones that are worldly, that are part of the New Age movement, New World Order, that um, are secular, that encourage sin like homosexuality, abortion, you name it. That are a mask. Like a, a mask of what's really un, un, underneath. These worldly Christian churches that do not teach the word of God. They believe in the one saved, always saved doctrine. I call those satanic churches. Those you want to leave. But if you are part of a church that is righteous in God's eyes. That is true and sincere. You don't want to leave that church. Because it is like you'll be leaving the shelter the Lord's true temple, the Lord's true shelter, the Lord's true tower. You'll be leaving that only to go out into deception or to possibly fall off the path and go into sin. God wanted me to relay this message to you because you have a bunch of goats telling you to leave the church. That is not true. The only church is you should be leaving. The only truth to that, when they say leave the church, what's only part of it is true. Leave the churches that are not right in God's eyes. I break, I break any curses anybody's trying to place over this video in me in Jesus Christ's mighty name. The Lord told me to say that because I feel like someone's trying to curse me. Okay, and I'll be, I won't be surprised if it's false prophets that I exposed. Anyway, or even all the false prophets and their minions. Anyway, so though, so the churches that are not right in God's eyes, you want to leave. But the churches that are true in God's eyes, based on God's standards, not man, that is right in God's eyes, you want to stay with. I just showed you scripture backing that up. So if you have a demon that's telling you to leave the church, and the word of God is encouraging you to stay with the righteous church, that demon is not hearing from God. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, these are the scriptures to back it up. KJV. I don't go with any, I don't go, I don't read a satanic Bible. Okay, straight up. Alright? You have the spirit of false prophecy. 
an antichrist Jezebel spirit, okay, a satanic Luciferian spirit, a spirit of Jezebel, okay, a spirit of Judas Iscariot out on the loose on YouTube and out in the world, and you got to be careful. So God wanted me to come on here, Jesus Christ, who is the true God I listen to, not these false prophets. He wanted me to warn you. And what you do with this information is up to you. But I encourage you to take it to Jesus Christ in prayer. Be blessed.